And joining us now is Mark Clark, who is the music and arts pastor from Point Harbor Community Church in Chesapeake, Virginia. He's here to tell us more about how music shapes his life and the life of the church. And we have just been enjoying your music. Wow, what a gift you have. Thank you. And it's a gift that you started actually at five years old, I hear. Mm -hmm. You yeah. started singing at five. Okay, yeah. well, you, did you always know that God had a call on your life in, in the music area? I feel like, yeah, I mean, I've always known it. Um, it started real young. Me and my mm -hmm. three of my sisters would sing together. Um, and I actually started leading at five. Wow. Um, so just through the years, we were in a very small church and uh, just had the opportunity, uh, which sometimes in a large church, you don't have those opportunities, but had the opportunity just to sing. And you know how it is in really small churches. Mm -hmm. you, know, you take whatever you can get. So I was kind of there and music minister, uh, took off eventually to start his own ministry. I was able to play the piano. You know. It was a blessing to me, you know, now when I look back on it. Now you are uh, the pastor of music and art at the church in Virginia. And well, how did God make that, that transition in your life? And what was it like for you? God has, has an amazing way of just doing things, you know. Um, we came across a, a wonderful church mm -hmm. um, called Point Harbor Community Church, and um, God prepared me to do this uh, because the church is so mixed. It's more heavily mixed than any church that I've ever known in terms of uh, culture and race. Okay. Uh, so it's about 40% black, 60% um, Caucasian. And um, having served in really here in this area and in uh, primarily uh, Caucasian church and in the past having served um, in uh, all African-American right. church um, was really prepared, you know, really prepared me to do that. Um, so now I'm in this church and just, it's just amazing. Is that what you want to say to God? Our church has uh, a really a niche there because you may hear Fred Hammond right. and then in the same set, you're going to hear Todd Agnew, you right. know, but people have grown to love it. And there are still some that, you know, oh, wish, wish it just would, they asked me, would you leave with a guitar, you know? Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not easy to blend, but um, I think it takes a unique skill set. And right. I just think it's amazing how God does prepare people to do things. Absolutely. I surrender all. Of it all and leave it all with Jesus at the foot of a cross. Though I am weak, His love is strong. Now, how do you see uh, worship emerging in the church? Because we're really starting to see the importance of worship in the church and in our personal lives right, as well. Right, right. I think. Um, like I've taught classes even to the worship teams um, on worship because you have to realize it's so much more than just music. Right. It's become just so associated with music, music, music. And, uh, you know, I think it, the idea it really should be, you know, I prepare myself and uh, I, I go before the Lord all week because after all, you can't lead somebody you ha someplace you haven't been as a worship leader. Uh, but just for individuals, you know, uh, I think the, the, the word worship has become uh, just so much greater than what it, you know, has been um, in the church. Yes, he fulfilled the master plan As we pierced the master's hand And broke the master's heart So we could be the master's work of art and grand well, you are doing a wonderful job of leading people into the presence of God. Your music is just absolutely beautiful. And, you know, everybody that has watched and heard you today knows that it's inspired by God. So thank you so much. All the best to you and your family. Thank you Thanks much. for being with us on The Harvest Show. And stay with us because we're going to have more of Mark Clark when we come back. Yes, I want to be all oh, the master's word. How yeah. I want to live for you, how I want to breathe for you, oh yeah, mm, the master's work of art.
When you try the hardest that you can To be the woman or the man The world around you says that you should be And you find that that just has to be So